Well, I am thrilled that you're here. Let, let's just get this out of the way. Uh, the rationale for rejecting that Chubb offer? Well, you know, the, the board uh, looked at it uh, with its advisors, its financial advisors and outside you know, lawyers and really reached the conclusion uh, to reject it and really determine engaging in any future discussions uh, just didn't make sense uh, for shareholders in the long term, which then they added you know, that they really have the, the confidence and conviction of the Hartsford st strategic business plan would create you know, value for shareholders over a longer period of time. So, um, you know, I, I think we're sitting on a valuable franchise, Jim, that uh, is executing well. Well, I'm going to use different language because I know your company and I am uh, I'm a policyholder. But you would you can, you might have to disclose that. But I think he was trying to steal the company. I see what's going on. I see what's going on with the buyback. I see what's going on with the cash. I see that the quarter had some one-time things, including a, a terrible thing, the incident with Boy Scouts that you had to pay. And what I've come up with is, is that you were about to have an earnings explosion from small and middle enterprises. Could I be right? Yeah, I think you got it right. If, if I look at where we are today and where I see the future going, you can't help but be optimistic, you know, Jim. I mean, the pandemic is, is beginning to recede. Uh, deaths are coming down. The vaccination process is going relatively smoothly. And it all, all points to, to a recovery, particularly in small to mid-sized businesses. We're, we're, that's our sweet spot. So, uh, and if I look at the strength of, of, our, of our businesses led by Small Commercial, which is the market leader, in small business. If I look at our group benefits business, which is the number two player in, in life insurance and disability at the workplace. If I look at our middle market and, and global specialty businesses where they're competitive in a unique ARP offering uh, where we uh, offer to ARP members home and auto, I, I, I think you know the better days of the Hartford are, are really ahead of us and we're gonna grow uh, faster than we have before. We're gonna continue to improve margins and we're going to buy back our, our shares, which we think is very accretive. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.